Bodida. Good morning. I'm just going to wait for people to tune in. In fact, while I'm waiting, um, people who viewed yesterday, a shout out to you if you uh, commented after the fact. So, hello to Sammy Burgess, Sammy Leanne Burgess, hello to you. Laura Ann Vaughan, sorry we missed you. I can do with my hair cut. Have you got any appointments? Oh, hello, we have a viewer already, Jody. Barada, good morning, Jody. Fantastic, I'll be seeing you shortly. Um, and who else was there that tuned in yesterday? Davina Roberts. Uh, hello, Davina, thank you for watching, although it wasn't live. Uh, so, yeah, big shout out to you guys who viewed. Brandon. I've seen Rob today, but you've seen him too because you were with him. So, there you are. I told you I'd let you know if I uh, saw him on my travels. And I don't think there's any point in me letting him know that you were looking for him because you can tell him yourself. But I'm here on the Venture, Kreuzer Adventure. Welcome to the Venture Playground. And look at this. A beautiful puppy at the bottom of the steps here. So yesterday was our first day back to, I don't know whether normality is the right word, but uh, all the kids have gone back to school and the gates were back to opening at four o'clock. So I'll be intrigued to see or hear what um, difference there was last night on the playground. I did pop out for a little bit, um, but it's hard to get a quick temperature of things when you're just sort of popping in and out. Uh, one of the things I did do yesterday was I plonked some bits on the playground just to see what happened to them really. Um, nothing exciting, Some five box lids that didn't have a box, a lid without a box, like a rebel without a cause, and uh, two shower heads. And I've seen, actually, some of the lids are here. So they've just sort of fluttered their way around. In fact, they probably could have been blown there for all I know. But the shower heads are nowhere to be seen, they've gone. So uh, I'll have to keep my eye out and wonder what sort of play they inspired. Our costumes have all been put away sure where they've gone perhaps they've gone for a wash but this is here <laughs> our sleeping bag in fact I'm sure I've probably slept in that sleeping bag at some point it's very 70s and uh, very stranger things which is back in October does anybody watch stranger things that, uh, 80s sci-fi uh, series it's very good if you haven't seen it but that's nothing to do with play so let's top stop talking about that um, yeah I've had a quick wander around the playground there's a few little bits. What's this, Jody? I've got a list of play opportunities from the lids and shower heads. Oh, right, okay. Well, that'll be interesting. Find out what happened with them. This is new. Oh, I think it's new, unless I just didn't notice it. Two tyres stacked up and filled with sand. Whether that was some sort of cauldron or whether the sand inside it sort of stabilised the tyres so that they didn't uh, move when kids were playing with the swing, perhaps. Don't know. It's all a guess. Uh, the towers are still standing, as is the fire pit over here. Oh, and we've got a piece of either cosh or lost property that I've spotted this morning. What's this? I've done it yesterday as the wood was sticking out. I'm not quite sure what you mean there. So that, oh, that's a barrier. The wood was sticking out. You'll have to explain that one to me, Jody. You've lost me a bit. Um, so we're just while we're waiting for Jody to explain that. Here's a lovely coat that's been left. Nice pink fluffy rim. And what's that label inside? Parisian. So someone's Parisian coat. It's like a military green with this uh, salmony pink, which I learned the other week. <laughs> uh, faux fur uh, outing. So if anybody's lost that, that's here on the playground, uh, the fire pit on the playground. As I said yesterday, all this fresh wood that is just begging to be burned. In my opinion, the really any piece of wood that's hanging around is um, begging to be burned. Uh, so yeah, let's have a wander around the playground. Like I say, I did have a quick jaunt before. Not too much to be seen. There's another lid over there. I've got the terrible habit with this camera of holding it here. So all you see is my chin and my mouth going blah, 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 talking rubbish. So I'll, I'll try and hold it at arm's length. So we're into the nature have a quick look. This is still all pretty tidy. This tree house seems to be very much the same. Go around here on the old bike track, which again perhaps could be 
rejigged. There's tyres here that are just sort of poking out. I don't know whether this was some sort of seating area. And then we've got the seesaw, which because the barrier's been taken down, has broken even further than yesterday. So I don't know whether we can kiss goodbye to the seesaw for now, but that is uh, in grave need of repair. As I say, it might now be in the territory of begging to be burned. Uh, so now we go over to the tree house, which I've realised I'm saying wrong. I say it, it never fails to let me down, which is the complete opposite of what I mean. Is What I mean is it, it never lets me down and never fails to give me something to talk about. So apologies for using completely the incorrect English. Every other video where I've referenced this tree house. But there we are, still standing. These bits are still outside the box, so nobody's really moved them. Uh, the boat and the chair are still there. Uh, let's go and have a quick look, see what's going on in the treehouse itself. Oh. Okay, so very much the same. Not really sure why they've stagnated, whether they've just lost interest because of um, different things that have been going on. But yeah, they seem to have fallen out of favour, really. Uh, there's a few more soft play bits that have turned up. I don't know if you can see, just under the treehouse there at the back. What's this? Uh, filled with sand to cover broken wood that was sticking out of the sand pit. Ah, very good. Health and safety, Jody. So, uh, an old post, perhaps, that was sticking up out of the ground. Uh, Tyres have been put round in, filled with sand, so that nobody sort of goes eye first onto that, because that would not be fun, would it? So yeah, it's um, oh good morning, Vanessa Roberts, Borada. Good morning. It's absolutely glorious today. Look at the sun beaming down. It's absolutely lovely. It's actually a shame that they're all stuck in school. Let's hope that they can uh, that it lasts till break time. In fact, they would have had their first break now, but it lasts till lunch time. Let's hope they have a good lunch. Um, on that note. I did say at the end yesterday, but uh, just in case anybody missed it right at the end, we just want to extend all the best of luck, poor luck, to all our children and young people who started school this week, especially those who've gone from junior to uh, big school or high school, and those who've gone from infants to juniors. It's a big step, I remember it. Uh, not always fun, but we wish you all the best. If you need any help, like I said yesterday, we might not be the best at solving all those algebraic equations, but uh, we'll give it a we'll give it a good shot, and uh, we'll certainly help you and and be by your side while you're trying to figure it out. There's always the ever resourceful Google as well that can help us. Um, yeah, and good luck to all our newbies in the early years centre, our flying start centre. They had registration yesterday and the day before, um, and today is their first day. So, all the very best to them who are taking their first steps on their venture journey. Hello, Nicole. Nick, Nicole. You're not Nicole Scherzinger. Nicola Griffiths. Hiya. Borada. Nice to see you. Hang on. Is this actually the first time that we've caught each other live? That's good going. I've said uh, in previous videos you'll have to pop down and see us. Uh, I saw you on the bank the other day, but it's been far too long. Now, another thing we talked about yesterday is our friend the parrot. We had a few suggestions of a name. We had Rainbow Parrot. And sorry for the person who commented on that. I think your name was Sue. Uh, I don't know whether you were a bit offended by me mocking your suggestion for a name, so apologies for that. Rainbow Parrot is absolutely acceptable. And I uh, didn't mean to demean that suggestion in any way. Another suggestion we had of Kaylee Jones, a previous play worker here at the venture, was Kevin or Bruce. I quite like Bruce, to be fair. But we haven't had any more suggestions in, so uh, if you've got a suggestion for the name of our parrot, pop it in the comments, or send us a message, or tweet us, at the venture 78 And we're on Instagram. <laughs> Make sure I get this right now. Instagram, Tumblr, YouTube. Um, we're usually the venture 78 or at the venture 78 uh, So, um, yeah, give us a look, see if you can find us a like or a follow or a subscribe or whatever it is you do on all these different things which are a nightmare to keep on top of um what else happened yesterday there was something else oh we had a couple of questions that we threw out on saturday i asked who your favorite fictional character was 
So who would you use, who would you get dressed up at as Halloween or a fancy dress party? And the second question was, what reminds you of the end of summer? So I mentioned the pond area in the top corner that's a bit, uh, not ne well, neglected and doesn't really get a lot of use. Um, reminds me of the end of summer because Teresa pointed it out to me once at the end of a summer and I thought, oh, I could have dug all this out and done all sorts with it. And I don't know, it just reminds me of that end of summer feeling. So what reminds you? Um, but I think that's probably it. Uh, it's been pretty quiet, I suppose, with a shorter session. There's less things to pick up on that have happened on the playground. Uh, today, we've got our staff meeting, which we do have during the summer holidays, but obviously they are reduced because the playground opens much earlier, so we lose that time to get together as a team and discuss uh, what's been happening, not only on the playground, but in the rest of the integrated children's centre. So today is probably going to be a particularly long an arduous one while we sort of iron everything out that's accumulated over the summer um, but we'll be open at four where play will be the priority and uh, if you want to come down and join in we'd love to see you thanks for watching all four of you I feel like Jeremy Kyle all four of you at home watching three now <laughs> this is going well <laughs> thanks for watching thanks for contributing keep your comments coming in uh, and if you have any suggestions for this you know if you think I should be doing uh, something on my walks about walkabouts or I should be commenting or um, yeah let me know I'd love your suggestions bye Vanessa Roberts bye everybody else Hoi and uh, have a good day Tataruan